He's a 44 year old curmudgeon. Contempo culture has made him this way. Normally when I do these videos, I'm your pal Pete. But today I'm just Peter Colin Wright, 44 years young. Here to tell you millennial Gen Y crybabies to quit your bitching. You have no idea the struggles that we faced at the turn of the century. You don't know how good you got it, and you're doing it all wrong besides. At Starbucks the other day, I heard a kid talk about how much he liked old school punk rock. Like Blink-182. Why, I had half a mind to hit him with my wallet chain. It's all bro this, bro that. We were dudes. You've got a world of information at your fingertips on devices that can help you with your spelling and grammar along with your ignorance. So I have to ask the internet, what the hell? It's Facebooks and Twitters and Instagrams. We had none of that. Except for email. And AOL dial-up. Oh, don't get me started on the dark days of dial-up. It would take you 20 minutes to download a song and if somebody else picked up the phone, you had to start all over again. It was enough to make your cocoa cold. You get what you want when you want it. You know nothing about patience. Your pictures come instantly. We had to wait a whole hour. Our television sets only got 150 channels. And that suited us just fine. Twerking, twerking, twerking. It's disgusting. It lacks the gentle physical poetry of getting jiggy with it. Now went these shameless pop stars. Now Madonna. That was a real class act. In rap music, if you even want to call it that. The rappers in my day had some skills. Big Daddy Kane or go to hell. I remember when a phone was used for calling. A hashtag was a pound sign. And Family Guy was a comedy show. I'm not just here to bitch. I'm also here to warn. Because this is going to be you. And at the rate things are going, that's going to be sooner rather than later. So good luck. Here's the photo for your old curmudgeon. Everything was better in his day.